Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make this model of a Coke can using UV mapping and multiple materials. Delete the default cube, add mesh cylinder, change cap fill type from Ngon to triangle fan. Now the top of the cylinder instead of having a single face will have multiple triangular faces. Click the Data Properties button. Now a Coke can is 65 millimeters wide by 115 millimeters tall. That is a ratio of 1.77. Put that in the Z scale and turn smooth shading on. I'm going to go into the front view and I'm going to toggle perspective off. I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to do loop cut and slide. I've got a coke can in front of me and it starts to taper around there. I'll put in a numeric value of minus 0.8 and I'll do the same for the bottom. Loop cut and slide, slide down, click and slide and it starts to taper around there. I'll put a new merit value of 0.85 and enter. I'm going to toggle into quad view and I'm going to go into edge select mode. I'm going to hold down the alt key and select the top edge and that selects all the top edges. I'm going to press S for scale, taper the top to a numeric value of 0.8 and enter. Hold down ALT, select a bottom edge, press S for scale, taper the bottom to a numeric value of 0.8 and enter. I'm going to go into face select mode and select a face from the top of the can. I'm going to press B for B select and select that central disk. I'm going to toggle limit selection to visible. I'm going to press E to extrude, automatically goes in the Z direction. I'm going to enter a numeric value of minus 0.2 blender units. Uh, I want to scale that, S for scale, and just in a little bit, 0.9 and enter. I want to go into vertex select mode and select the, the central vertex. That has selected the bottom one, so I'm going to toggle um, limit selection and select the top central vertex toggle limit selection again, G to grab, Z for Z direction and I'm going to move that up by a value of 0.1 blender units. I'm going to go to view bottom, zoom in a little bit and turn limit selection to visible on. I'm going to go to edge select mode and select a radial edge. I'm then going to press B for B select drag to select all the radial edges. I'm going to go to subdivide. I'm going to hold down alt and select the ring of edges there. I'm going to press S for scale and drag that out to about there, a numeric value of 1.8 and enter. I'm then going to select, go into vertex select mode and select the central vertex. I'm going to toggle limit selection to visible off. I'm going to press G to grab and Z for Z direction and move that central vertex up to a numeric value of 0.2 and enter. I'm going to go into face select mode and I'm going to uh, switch limit selection to visible on. I'm going to toggle quad view and I'm going to open up a new window over the white hashing here, drag and I'm going to make the new window a UV image editor. I'm going to open the image of the Coke label uh, to see that if I select a face and go back here and click I should see the label. Um, I want to select all the faces from around the can, so I'm holding down the Alt key and selecting a face. And I want to select all the tapered edges from the top as well, so I'm holding down the Alt key plus Shift to add to the selection. Now if I go to Mesh 
UV NRAP cylinder projection here, I get a very strange NRAP, which isn't what I want. So I have to go into the context of the 3D window, press U for the NRAP menu, and do cylinder projection from there, and I get the projection that I want. I'm going to go to the view menu and toggle full screen. I'm going to press A to select all, followed by S to scale. I'm going to shrink that down. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel and press S followed by X to stretch that out. I'm going to press G for grab and move that as best I can into the middle. Then I'm going to press S followed by X and stretch that out to there and S followed by Y and stretch that out to there and then I'm going to press G to grab and then I'm going to go view toggle full screen zoom back a bit if I turn viewport shading to textured only that face is mapped, but if I select the image again, we have the, all the faces mapped. If I go to the render button and render image, we don't get the UV mapping. So how do we get the UV mapping? We go to the material button and I add a new material and I'll call the new material Coke. Then I'm going to go to the texture button and I'm going to add a new texture and I'm going to call a new texture Coke as well. This should be image and I'm going to select both here and if I click here we can pick up our image of the Coke label and we need to set the coordinates for the mapping to be UV mapped. At this point I can render the image and we've got the UV mapping but one important thing we've got to do is go to the materials button because we're going to use multiple materials we must assign the material to the chosen faces 